as far as I'm concerned, summer is done, okay? I'm over it, it's too hot, I'm ready for it to be gone now. And so I thought that today we could try and build like a little autumnal house in The Sims. Something sort of fall inspired, get in the mood, you know? And so I built this little cozy cottage, it's very orange and red, it's in Brindleton Bay, the leaves are turning, it's cool outside, the air is crisp. This is everything that I'm dreaming of right now, okay? This is everything that is the complete opposite of what I have right now in Florida. It's not cool, it's not cozy, it's not beautiful. Beautiful. In fact, it's just stormy and hot literally all the time and I'm done. Summer here in Florida is so miserable. It's so humid. It's it's just gross. I'm sure many of you relate to this. It's been hot everywhere, but like, oh my god, I'm so ready for it to be over. And the thing is, when it becomes fall, it's still hot. That's the problem with Florida. It doesn't go away. It'll be hot on Christmas probably. Like, even the winter time isn't cold. Now, I must warn you about this house because I tried very hard with this one and it was very difficult for me to settle on a color scheme. In fact, I had to cut out so much of me just like changing the color of the walls over and over again. It took me like 30 minutes in real life to settle on a wallpaper and window setup. What I ended up settling on was using a lot of the Discover University windows actually because they have that sort of nice cozy wood tone. And you'll see I used a door that has like a, a deep bluey green color on the trim which is kind of out there. But I figured that if we kind of went for like a more jewel toned vibe with this house it would look really pretty. And so I ended up using that door. We've got that like blue trim on the door and then I tried to use that blue as an accent color in a lot of the interior of the house. So like mostly everything is kind of like warmer oranges, lots of browns, and then there's kind of some pops of that blue. I guess it's more of a teal as an accent. Now, when you first look at the house from the exterior, it doesn't look good. <laughs> the one blue door and the one little blue bit on the roof, it's not really speaking to me either, but I swear it comes together, okay? Once it all is on the house, once it's all there, it really does start to work. But this is one of those trust the process kind of builds, <laughs> so bear with me it'll get there. As far as like other exterior decor goes though, I really tried to add in a lot of like orangey plants and pumpkins. You know those people on Instagram with like the house accounts and they show off like all their interior design stuff? I was kind of trying to be inspired by them and like what their porches look like in the fall. We've all seen it so I know you know what I'm talking about, but like those Pinterest pictures of like all those pumpkins lining the stairs, that was the vision. Was just pumpkins and, and beautiful fall decor <laughs> was kind of what I was going for. There's also a lot of outdoor space actually, like lots of outdoor sort of hangout areas on this house. We've got like a little trellis above the back porch, there's a grill and a table. In the back I wanted some like garden planters, I tried to make sure we had a fire pit so you could hang out and roast marshmallows. I also put some kids stuff, like there's a swing set and things just for the family to play with. Now I didn't make a family for this house or like have any specific people in mind to live here, but I did build it with two bedrooms and so I kind of pictured maybe like a couple and their kid could live here, so like three sims. It's definitely not a huge house. It's, it's actually quite small. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. There's not even an office or anything. It, it's really just like the, the bedrooms and a little bit of living space. But I do think the floor plan came together really nicely. I kind of tried to do like a slightly closed off open floor plan, which I realize makes no sense. But kind of the idea that I had was to use some fake archways using columns and spandrels to sort of separate a few of the areas and also kind of like define spaces. Like this is the living room. This one is the kitchen because I feel like that feels a little bit more cozy to me. Before we get too far into the interior though, I want to tell you a little bit about today's sponsor, Disney Dreamlight Valley. Disney Dreamlight Valley is an amazing game that I have been looking forward to for ages. It's kind of like a hybrid of a life simulation and an adventure game, except it's got Disney characters in it. And so you basically explore this world filled with the magic of Disney. There's like Disney and Pixar heroes and villains just everywhere. You discover rich stories, you build the perfect neighborhood, except like you're doing it alongside Elsa and Simba. It's so cool. The story kind of starts off telling you about how the valley used to be this wonderful happy place until the forgetting happened. And so in the game you kind of discover the secrets behind what the forgetting is and how you can save the valley. You can meet up with and make friends with your favorite Disney and Pixar characters. You can like cook with Remy and garden with Wally and fish with Goofy and stuff. Each and every one of those characters comes with like hours of story content you can explore through getting to know them better. This game also has ridiculous amounts of customization. When you're making your avatar they have this touch of magic tools. You can customize a ton of clothes to like any color and with loads of patterns. And beyond on that they have like hundreds of clothing items you can mix and match. You're gonna be so impressed by the avatar designer tool. It is so cool. And that's just like the beginning. There's so much more to do in this game. So if you're interested and you want to 
to check it out, you can buy the Founders Pack Edition of your choice, or you can get it through the Xbox Game Pass, and you can start playing it in early access today. Like, it's out in early access now. I'm gonna have a link to that for you down below. I am literally so excited about this game. I have been waiting for it to come out, and honestly, I think you're gonna love it. So, Disney Dreamlight Valley, seriously, thank you again for sponsoring this video. Back to the build, though, you can see I'm doing the floor plan now and kind of trying to space out all of the areas. Oftentimes when I'm doing this, I put down like filler furniture. This is kind of a tip, I think, when it comes to doing floor plans because I struggle with it too and I, I build houses like every day. But I feel like it's really useful to just place down some couches, maybe a rug. The rugs especially are great for like figuring out the scale of a room. And just kind of put down like, okay, I'm gonna put a dining table here. I'll put some couches maybe against this wall just to kind of get a feel of like, hmm, does this actually fit what I need it to fit? And then I usually just delete those things and replace them with like actual furniture once I start really furnishing. But when it comes to doing the floor plan, it's always been really helpful to me to sort of like map it out almost, like put some objects down just to get a better idea for scale. I guess it might also be because I'm a YouTuber and so I tend to like place things down as I'm explaining it. So I'll be like, oh look, this is gonna be the living room and I'll put like a couch down as a marker. <laughs> so it's more easy to follow what I'm saying. But it also makes it easier for me as I'm building it to sort of like, you know, figure out the space. Anyway, so the house kind of has like three main rooms in the living area. There's a living room, a dining room, and a kitchen. I am obsessed with this color scheme. I did a couple things that were sort of controversial when I streamed this build. For example, you can see I put down in that kitchen, there's a like teal oven from Parenthood. I have never used that swatch. Never once in my life have I ever used that stove. It's kind of weird. It's, it's kind of a bold choice. I don't know if I would do it again, but I wanted to try it in this house because, you know, again, when else am I gonna do that? If I've never used it, I should try. I've built so many houses in The Sims and I use the same plain like stainless steel ovens every time. And so I really tried to like try something different. Although I understand that maybe it's a bit controversial. The door was actually the real controversy. A lot of people in my Twitch chat had really strong opinions. It was like majority very pro the blue door and then a few people being like, this is the ugliest thing I have ever seen. So I understand if you don't like it, it's totally fine. But you know, I'm, I'm just gonna try new stuff sometimes. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, that's okay. We'll give it another shot tomorrow. A couple other fun things to point out. There's a curtain set that was like perfect for this house. The dream home decorator curtains have like a leaf swatch and it is literally perfect. It is exactly what we need. They're sort of like creamy curtains with some like red and burgundy looking leaves on them. And so I used that as the inspiration for the living room. Honestly, this house in general was a really good opportunity to try and use things that I don't really use all that often. Like there's some leaf wall decor that came with eco lifestyle. I never put that in my houses, but this house is like perfect for it. The patterned curtains, I used a lot of like deeper colors and lots of oranges. I never really use orange swatches because I just don't like the color very much. So I got to use like an orange bed. I used like a red bed in the kids room. Lots of things that just don't normally fit into my like average Sims build. It was also just really fun to build. It was so cozy just sitting here hanging out. I had a pumpkin candle burning in my office while I was making this house. It was just really good vibes. I needed this, okay? I even dressed up today. I put on my like red boo sweater. I'm, I am prepared, okay? It might be September, but like I am ready for fall. Do you know what though? This house took me so much longer to build than I thought it would. I think it's partially because I was being so picky about the color scheme because normally with a house like this, it's not very big. It's like two bedrooms, two bathrooms. I could build this in like, honestly, like an hour and a half sometimes. <laughs> I've gotten really quick at building like smaller houses in The Sims because I, I do it a lot. And so usually I know like what I want it to look like and it, it kind of comes together really quickly. This one took me like three and a half hours to do, which isn't actually that bad. That's a pretty like normal amount of time to build a house in The Sims. But for me, because this one is so small, it, it feels like I took ages to do it, you know? And most of that wasn't even like the building part. It was literally just picking wallpaper. Like it took me so long to figure out the color scheme of the wallpaper. I had to cut it out. Like I didn't even include it in the video because it just was me being like, hmm, how about this one? No, how about this one? Just over and over again. It would take like 10 minutes sped up in this video and that's ridiculous. Nobody wants to watch me like swap out wallpapers for 10 minutes. I feel like you wanna see actual like furnishings being placed, you know, and the room actually coming together as opposed to just wallpaper changing. That is not very speed building of me. Now this living room though actually has a lot of really nice furniture. There were a bunch of items that I kind of forgot existed that were kind of fun to use. For example, there's that blanket basket from Cottage Living. Love it, so cute. I use it a lot. I did not remember that it had a pumpkin swatch. So like the, it's like a little wicker basket. It's got a blanket and two pillows and one of the pillows has a pumpkin on it. I mean,
mean, it was like made for this house. It's it's perfect for this build. So this room has a couch, like a little armchair, a fireplace, and mostly just some artwork and stuff. I didn't end up putting a TV in here because to me, the TV just, it wasn't the vibes, okay? On the mantle, it wasn't working for me. <laughs> so I just didn't put one. I suppose I could have put it like next to the TV or something, but I had these beautiful blankets and all this lovely decor. And I just, I didn't want a big chunky metal TV to, to ruin it. And so I simply didn't include one. <laughs> I did put a computer though. There's a computer in the parents room. So there is at least something to, you know, get your skills up and your fun up and stuff. Honestly, I feel like a computer is more functional than a TV. Usually when I'm doing starter homes, I try to put in both, but if I have to pick between one, I'll usually pick the computer. There's definitely pros and cons to both, but with the computer, you can play games to get your Sims fun up. You can write things to use the writing skill. You can program. Like there's so many skills you can do on the computer. Whereas the TV is just like sit and watch to gain fun. The perk of the TV is that more than one Sim can watch at once. So you can have like multiple Sims gaining fun at once, but it just does less. And so I usually kind of lean towards the computer. I mean, honestly, I'd say the same thing in real life. Like you can watch TV on your computer too. So I'd pick a computer over a TV. I guess in real life, a computer is most often a lot more expensive than a TV though. Like you can get a pretty like decent sized TV that you can just log into Netflix on for like not that expensive these days, at least compared to a computer, right? Like computers are just so expensive, especially computers that can run games, so expensive. You know what? That reminds me, question for the comments. Do you have cable? Like, do you pay for cable? I don't, I haven't paid for cable ever. Like when I moved out, I, I didn't buy it because I don't really watch that much TV. Even my parents are thinking about canceling their cable. So I'm so curious. I know that most of you, at least like most of us who are around my age probably didn't end up buying it when we moved out. A lot of people that I know like wouldn't have bought it, but like their apartment just has it. Like the, it's paid for, so they just have it. Or like, you know, their parents have it and stuff. But like I personally, I don't think I'll ever pay for cable TV. I, I just don't watch it. I have no need for that. Like I just, you know, I watch streaming services and then YouTube videos, you know, like I just don't have a need to watch like live television. And I, I just don't think I'll ever buy it. I always love hearing other people's thoughts on this though, because obviously I know like what my friends and my peer group is doing, but I don't really know like what everyone everywhere is doing. And a lot of you are in different countries and stuff. So let me know in the comments. I'm curious. Anyway, I get so sidetracked when I'm doing these speed builds. <laughs> I just talk about the most random things. So this bedroom is the kids bedroom. And the entire thing was very inspired by that one wallpaper from Cottage Living. The wallpaper is just perfect. It's got like some nice wood paneling. It's got bunnies and mushrooms and leaves. Like you just, you can't get any better than this. It was like made for the house. <laughs> this is exactly the vibes that we're going for. It even has like the green and the red. Like it, it's literally perfect. And then I paired it with this really cute like quilted bed that came with cats and dogs. And I thought that was really nice because it kind of had the same colors in it. And so it sort of tied it all together, but it was also very cozy. I love a good quilt. Honestly, that bed has so many good swatches. It's a very underrated bed. I, I kind of forget that it existed. I kind of forgot about it until recently. And now I've been using it a lot because it's so nice. It's also just really like simple. Like the, the wooden bed frame is really easy to match to a lot of furniture. So it just goes really well in a lot of houses. I think the same could be said for like all of the cats and dogs furniture. Cats and dogs is a really nice pack. The world is good. The furniture is good. Pets are good. Like cats and dogs is definitely up there as one of my favorites of all time. That one in seasons actually, I would probably say are a couple of my favorite expansion packs. Speaking of seasons, I used a seasons bed in this bedroom. I used to love that bed. It's kind of low to the ground and it's got some cute pillows. I was like obsessed with it when the pack first came out. Now that it's been out longer, I sort of started to get the ick from the pillows at the back because <laughs> it has like the two pillows pillows and then three up against the headboard. For some reason, the three in the back really bug me. I don't know why. I wish they weren't there. I'm going to be honest, but I try not to think about it. <laughs> so I haven't used that bed a lot recently, but it does have a lot of really nice swatches. And this orange swatch in particular, I don't think I've ever used. And so I put the orange one in here because obviously we're trying to go for this like fall vibes sort of room. And then I paired it with some cats and dogs furniture because it has that nice wooden color again. And I also used a rug from the werewolf pack. I think I'm really happy with all of the rugs in this house. I think they all turned out really Really nicely together. They all fit together really well and they just have really nice swatches. I think this whole color scheme is really, really nice. It's also different from what I usually do, which is a good thing because I, I definitely get in my little box and I, I do the same thing over and over again. So I'm, I'm quite proud of this house because it feels different. It feels like a, a you know, 
nice change, I guess. In this main bedroom, I also put an extra door. I thought it would be nice because one, there was kind of just a bunch of big open wall space that I wasn't sure what to do with, but I also thought it might be nice to have a door to the patio from this bedroom, just because it's always good to have like extra space. And honestly, in a real house, it, it's pretty realistic to have like an extra door there if you can fit it. So I did put one, but I did use a different color because I didn't want to use the like blue trim on this one because this room didn't really have a lot of the blue. And so I used like the blue door in the hallway next to it and then just a solid brown door in this room. And that kind of bugged some people in my Twitch chat that they were different colors, but I thought it was all right because the door at least matches the windows, you know? So I, I think it's fine to paint one of the trims and not the other, right? If I just keep telling myself that, maybe it'll become true, you know? As long as we believe it, maybe it'll be right. All in all, this house has a lot of wood. I think you can probably tell. There's like wood accents everywhere and lots of like orange and blue pops of color. I don't think this is really my personal style in real life. <laughs> like, I don't know if I would pick this for my real life furniture, but I think it looks really nice in The Sims. And now we're kind of moving on to the exterior and on the outside, I had so much fun landscaping. I put so many flowers and like I said, so many pumpkins, like literally everywhere. It was really fun to go in and furnish this stuff on the outside. I was putting like hay bales in the front. We had Patchy the Scarecrow. I also ended up using a swing set in the front yard, which was kind of different. My chat was sort of joking like, oh, the HOA is not gonna like that. But I put a swing set in the front yard because I wanted to have a lot of space for like crops and stuff and like gardening in the back and so I used the swings up here. Front yards are very underutilized, you know, because in real life people aren't gonna put like a hangout space in their front yard for the most part because it's not very private. I mean, I don't even have a front yard where I live right now, so <laughs> I certainly wouldn't. But like you probably wouldn't normally put your swing set in the front of the house. But in The Sims, you can do whatever you want. Nobody cares. And you know what? There's no such thing as privacy. Your Sims don't care. The neighbors don't care. The neighbors are gonna come to your house anyway. They're just gonna walk right by constantly staring at you, so you might as well embrace it. But with that, we're getting pretty close to the end of the build here. We're kind of just doing some finishing touches. If you want to see more of stuff like this, like these longer form builds, I do always live stream them on Twitch. So if you want to pop in, my name is just Lil Simsy on Twitch, same as on YouTube. I'll have it linked down below. But we hang out and play The Sims like every day on my Twitch channel. So if you're into having like three more hours a day of Simsy content, um, you can find me over there. And then we can do the builds together because you can actually like give live feedback and, you know, tell me you hate my blue door and then I'll ignore you <laughs> and just just use it anyway. And if you miss those live streams, I always post them back on my second channel on more Simsy, which I'll link down below too. So you can always watch them back, like not live if you missed it. And I've got a whole backlog of a lot of Sims content on there. And now once the build is actually done, I'm gonna pop back into the game and give you an actual tour of the house. It's always kind of hard to see things when it's like speeding around so much. So once I show you in game, it's a little bit easier to see. So I built the house over here on this lot in Brindleton Bay, kind of in the back corner. Oh, okay. It's raining and it is a lot more fall than it was when I played played before. The trees have like completely turned. But this is the actual house. Here's what it looks like in game. I'm really, really happy with the color scheme. I just love how this like blue shingle looks up there. And in the front, oh, no, it deleted my terrain paint. Oh my God. No, that, that simply won't do. That is just unacceptable. <laughs> how does that glitch still happen? after all this time. Okay, there we go. My terrain paint is back. So in the front yard, we've got this little swing set. We've got a lot of landscaping, which is a little bit more dead than it was in the speed build, sorry. And we also have like a gnome and stuff. If you come back this way down this little curvy path, it takes you into the backyard. And in the backyard, I put down like a little fire pit right here. There's some pumpkins, there's patchy. <laughs> we've got like some little planter spices right here. And then on the patio, we've got like a little dining table, a grill, some more pumpkins, and also this trellis, which I am just obsessed with. I think it looks so pretty. On the inside of the house, you walk into this front door right here and by the door, I put like some umbrellas. We've got a little coat rack and some shoes. I also put this little table and mirror so you can like leave your keys and check out your outfit and stuff, which obviously Sims don't do, but we can pretend. And then you come in further into the main living room. Here we have like the little fireplace with the blanket basket with the pumpkin. In the back, we've got this adorable, like cozy living space. I am just obsessed with the way this looks. Like all these colors together, I think is so nice. Through the arch, there's the dining room. It has like a little four seater table. We also have the kitchen over here, which has got a ton of little clutter objects and stuff. Off the kitchen, we have a little bathroom. And then back this way, we've got a tiny little hallway with two bedrooms and another 
your bathroom. This is the main like primary bedroom. It has a computer, it's got some paintings, that door to the outside, and then the kids bedroom has some toys and stuff in it. And I'm just so happy with this house. It makes me want to play in it. I want to like make a gardener sim and come live in this little autumnal house and just, well, I guess it has to be like eternally autumn because if this became summertime or like the winter, I'm sorry, but the snow, it's, it's just not gonna cut it. Not here. No, that would ruin everything. But <laughs> this is the finished product. It is on my gallery if you want to download it. I used a lot of packs on this one. I'm so sorry, but I do a lot of base game builds too, I promise. I can link one of those down below for you. I'm also gonna link Disney Dreamlight Valley down below, so if you want to play the game, check out that link to download it. And thank you again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring this video. I think you're all gonna love the game. I am so excited about it. And thank you all for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. And with that, I'm gonna go. So I'll catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. You know what? The purple trees in the front is not working for me. When they were orange, it was so much better. The purple is kind of ruining it.